Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris and today we're gonna make one of these copper coil alcohol burners. Let's do this real quick. Now you could definitely use this to boil water, cook food, whatever you want, but I think it's just pretty neat and pretty cool. It's almost steampunkish. And just the whole way it works with the capillary action like that, I really enjoy it. And you can get different effects out of it by using smaller diameter drill bits to make smaller holes in there, essentially making smaller jets. I, I could only use the, well, the drill bit I had on hand. I may order something smaller just to see uh, how to play around with it and what I could do. But anyways, really just to make this thing, it's pretty simple. I'm using a baby food jar. You can use whatever you want. You, there's those little tiny ball jars. You could get away with using any type of a jar. I mean, an olive jar, a minced garlic jar, or whatever it is. You know, look in your house and see what you have. You'll find a jar that works. And then you just need some copper tubing. I'm using quarter inch copper tubing, or what is it, like 6.5 millimeter copper tubing, whatever the conversion is. You wanna go ahead and fill the copper tubing with sand. I'm using about 14 inches or so in length, and I'm wrapping it around about a one inch piece of pipe or so, maybe a little bigger. You don't wanna go too small, cause that's when you're gonna, well, it's probably not gonna bend too well for you. But you wanna fill this thing with sand, somehow seal off the ends. I just used a piece of wood to kinda seal off the ends a little bit, fill it with sand like crazy, knock it, shake it, whatever you gotta do, make sure it's completely filled with sand, cap off the other end, and then go ahead and slowly bend that around your pipe, and work slow here, don't go too aggressive too fast, and offset it a little bit when you're wrapping it around, and you'll do pretty good, it'll bend pretty nice for you. Between bending it around the pipe and drilling that hole, it's about the hardest part to this build. But once you have it bent around, you can go ahead and cut the excess off, and then take the lid to your jar, and I kind of like pushed down on the lid a little bit to make some indentations and used one of those automatic hole punch things so that I could kind of mark where I need to drill my holes. And I'm just drilling it with the closest drill bit that I have to fit for the copper tubing. And then once you have that build, go ahead and well, dry fit everything. Make sure it fits pretty well. And then well, you just want to use some JB weld that's rated for a higher temperature, maybe some a two-part epoxy that's rated for a higher temperature, whatever you might have on hand, just to kind of seal everything off. And be careful, make it the neatest job you can. Try not to make a mess, it gets messy. Be careful with it. And once that stuff dries, well, then you can go ahead and drill your hole in there, do your jet, put your wicks in there, put everything all back together and fill it up with, you know, whatever your preferred fuel. I'm using just 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. And, and I like to keep it in these little, uh, was it like a five hour energy bottle or something? One of those little energy drink bottles. It, it works nice to keep the fuel in here and then, you know, dump it in there. And it, it might take a little bit to get the first initial burn out of it just because you want everything to, well, wick up inside. And the wicks I'm using, it's just from these old sterno containers. The more it heats up, the better it's gonna work. It's gonna have that capillary action to suck everything up through the wick, up into the tubing. And then once you get it lit and he heated up, once you've pretty much primed it, you could say, it's gonna keep heating the tubing up, pretty much making all the liquid evaporate into a gas and then come out that jet and then it's gonna burn it and it's gonna continue the cycle. So it's pretty neat. And like I said, there's quite a bit of heat all the way up here and ow. <laughs> you could definitely cook on here. You know, make yourself a little stand. It might be in the next video because I'm gonna need a stand to put a pot on top of here to boil water and such. But there are many different alcohol stoves that you could make and different stoves and such and sawdust stoves and st for some reason I like making these things. The sawdust stove does work pretty good if you have a lot of sawdust that you want to use and the bigger the can the better the burn. These little hobo tuna can stoves they work pretty well and they're pretty easy to make which is how you know cardboard a tuna can and some wax and then you got this little alcohol stove with these cool little jets. This takes a little bit to well do the same effect as this thing to get going. We're gonna put that one out. <laughs> oh, don't do this. This is the only thing I have to snuff it at the moment. But this one jets up pretty nice too. And it, it, the more, this is a fun build as well. And I like these things. It's just made out of a soda can. So I like the idea of recycling and reusing these things. Let's just wait for this thing to get going. I can hear it. It's going to go in a minute. So when this one's going, it's going and it's going pretty good. So it's gonna use up a lot more fuel than this one will. Well, it's gonna use it up faster. But if you have more water to burn or boil and such like that, or bigger pot, whatever you're using, a bigger pan and stuff, we're gonna snuff this one out too. Nope, that's not gonna work. Oh, we got a fire going on here. Whew, hot dog is. How do you put this one out? I forget. Um, yeah, don't try this at home. 
Not a smart idea. This is turning out to be a catastrophe. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Don't do this at home. I juggle fire, don't forget it. I'm used to working with flammable materials, but it's still no excuse to being dangerous. Definitely be smart, use caution. Don't do what I just did. Don't, don't, you know, go by my example, please. So I'm gonna have to do a burn test between all these stoves. And there's a couple more that I wanna make. So I'm gonna do a burn test. And honestly, this one probably might burn the longest. I mean, it's rated for six hours of burn and all it is is well, a whole bunch of fuel and a wick and you can buy it ready-made and but this is fun making these things so it's all up to you and to put this out what I would normally do is just blow it out but then you're gonna get a lot of the gases still coming up so I blow it out and I kind of just let the coils cool down just a little bit and then you can light it again once they cool down just you can see I don't know if you can see but you know how you blow out a candle and you can kind of light it again Well, you get the, I guess, uh, well, we're pretty much done for today. So I'll see you on the next one. What I was about to say was you blow this out, you let the coils cool down, cool down a little bit, and then you can relight the jet and the jet won't be as high, high and you just kind of burn the excess gas off until everything cools down and it's not going through the cycle again. But I can't show you. I can't get this lit again. And just in case you were wondering, I have a playlist uh, somewhere on my home page for YouTube on all these different stoves and how to build them and such. And I'm going to keep adding to that as well. I research different ways of how to build these things and find out different ideas and things that I like and well materials that I have. So I'm going to keep doing that. And like I said, once I get all the stoves built that I want to build, We'll do a burn test with all of them and kind of see which ones burn the longest. And it, it really just de varies, uh, you know, depends upon how much fuel you have, how much it's burning, and then that'll determine how long it burns for. You can put the same amount of fuel on these two, but this one's gonna burn out faster than this one, but then this one will burn hotter than this one. So, honestly, my best suggestion is make them all and see which ones you like. All right, I'll see you on the next one.